Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez suffers a knee injury, derailing possibly his career, and his December 8th headline showdown. Stay tuned, coming up next. Hey, this is Cassie, and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, habla Cindy, está viendo Deporte TV. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, uh, former pound for pound king, you know, he was recognized as pound for pound king. It was never number one pound for pink, pound for pound king in my book, but uh, a lot of people had him rated as the number one pound for pound king. Uh, until he lost two uh, fights back to back to, uh, uh, to, uh, uh so, uh, I can't pronounce this dude name to save my life, man. I never could. I always had a, a hard time pronouncing uh, Ru Ru Rugavazai Ragavazai. I can't pronounce his name to save my life, man. But y'all know who I'm talking about, right? Uh, Roman Ch Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez has suffered a knee injury, derailing his April uh, his December 8th headline card. He was supposed to headline the card December 8th. But he suffered a knee injury, and it derailed his uh, the fight. It's supposed to be at the Stub Up Center in Carson, California, uh, versus um, uh, uh, versus Guevara, Guevara, right? Pedro Guevara. And the thing I want to talk about with this is, is he's he says that uh, he'll get back and he'll fight early 2019. Um, the thing about this is when you're on the wrong side of 30 and you start suffering knee injuries, right? It starts to de derail your career. You know, you're really never the same. He, uh, uh your fives wants to have a fight with him. You know, uh, he's Eddie Hearn's promoter. Uh, he's promoted by Eddie Hearn, the fighter promoted by Eddie Hearn. He's been looking to have a fight with Chocolatito Gonzalez for quite some time. Uh, he's been calling him out. And uh, now he's in hopes that he can get the fight with Chocolatito and Gonzalez in early 2019. The thing about this is, uh, you know, we saw he had uh, uh, against Roman uh, uh, Sagafai. I can't pronounce this dude's name to save my life, man. Rug Vasai. Rug Vasai. Rung Vasai. Right? Against Rung Vasai or Rug Vasai, however you pronounce his name. Chocolatito suffered two back to back losses to him. The first one was in question. I didn't question the first one. I thought that he got beat up in the first fight, and I thought he lost legitimately in the first fight, but some people thought he didn't. In the second fight, he got knocked smooth out, cold, stone cold out in the second fight. And, uh, you know, he's he's been having, you know, a couple of tune-up type of fights, you know, since then. But, and I don't get, I don't keep too much of a tab on these lower, lower weight classes because, you know, so much shadiness going on in those weight classes, man two pounds separating the weight class and things of that nature um but uh chocolatito you had no no choice but to pay attention due to the fact that people had him ranked number one pound for pound in the world even floyd mayweather had him ranked number one pound for pound in the world over andre ward and over terence crawford right and uh the thing is he didn't look that great mobility wise in that fight and defensively wise you know he didn't have the best defense against um uh uh Ru rug versailles and uh he didn't have the best mobility to begin with. And now with a knee injury on the wrong side of 30, and when I say the wrong side of 30, I mean 31 and above. You know, 30 and under is the good side of 30, and 30 and over is the bad side of 30. It's the wrong side of 30, right? And so to suffer a knee injury, he said he promises to come back stronger than ever. And he said he'll be all right after the procedure, and he'll be all right for the early 2019. But I think this possibly could derail his career. I think those two losses started his career on the downslope, and this could probably just finish it. Uh, I don't think that his mobility after a knee injury and start once you start cutting open and, and scoping the knees, and you're on the wrong side of 30, that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. And uh, you know, with him that never had the mobility, never had the athletic ability, you know, it's just it just hinders him even more. So I really can't see him getting back to the top of his game, and he wants a third fight. He wants a third fight with uh, Rung, Rung Vasai, you know, and uh, I just can't see, he, he, he struggled, you know, uh, 
he, he says that him and his team are gonna have to do a lot of things different to deal with his left hand and prepare himself and uh, uh, switch everything totally over. But you know, I just can't see him making a comeback, man. I think this is the end of Chocolate Roman Chocolate Tito Gonzalez. I think we've seen the best of Roman Chocolate Tito Gonzalez, and I think this is just gonna put the icing on the cake to uh, to to finish off his career. You know, I, if he looks for a third fight with Rungvasai, then he's just gonna he's gonna get maybe brutally injured, definitely brutally knocked out in that fight. You know, he's supposed to fight uh, Guevara. You know, 32, 3 and 1. That was the fight he's supposed to have um, with, against Pedro Guevara, December 8th. And uh, you know, Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez is 31 years of age. As I stated, he's on the wrong side of 30. I just can't see him having a um, getting back to that that level that he once was. I think this is it, man. I think his career is. We we seen the best of him. I think his career is getting ready to come to a, a screeching halt. And if he takes another fight, like I said, with Rob Winside, you know, is he's poss is possibly the second the, the second fight he was brutally knocked out. I can only imagine what will take place in the third fight. So um, it's sad, man. You know, uh, he's, he's rel relatively young in uh, regular life. You know, he's only 31, so he'll be 32 by the time he steps back in the ring. But he'll have knee surgery, so you know he'll never be the same. Uh, you know, it's just it's just unfortunate. He definitely was a great fighter. I never had him pound for pound number one in the world, but he was a great fighter. And I think we've seen the best of him. So that's all I got. Now, uh, they they saying that um, <clears throat> uh, uh, um, Cecilia Brackets could probably headline, could possibly headline um, that card now. Because she was supposed to be the co-main event on that card. Now, she, it's, it's looking like she's going to be the headline. And it's looking like um, Estrada... They'll probably step in and take the place for Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez, December 8th. So that's all I got for y'all, man. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Can Roman Ch um, Chocolatito Gonzalez make a comeback after suffering knee surgery, uh, suffering a knee injury and having knee surgery and being on the wrong side of 30? Or can he make a, uh, or is, is this it for his career? Let me know what y'all think. Drop a comment in the comment section. This is your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shouts out to the entire LDBC. Shouts out to New Media. Shouts out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez has to pull out December 8th card with a knee injury. will have knee surgery, but promises to come back better and stronger than ever. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. The Blue Blood Sport TV, baby, from the Empress. Much love. Bye.